Peruvians with visual impairments are getting a second chance at sight with photography classes. The 10 participants in the program range in age from 20 to 80 and are all excited to develop themselves as artists. Lourdes was left visually impaired due to medical negligence when she was young. She went on to become a journalist and is now looking to add photography to her list of skills. She believes the hobby is more practice than theory for people with visual impairments. En verdad me gusta más hacer eh, fotos retratos y también eh, no sé las fotografías eh, relacionadas a la naturaleza como ahora que hemos estado en el mar por ejemplo no me, me ha gustado sacar fotos a, 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 a eso a esos este a esos sitios que que te transmiten mucho. Paul Vallejos, along with a number of other colleagues, is responsible for developing the program and they get support from Lima's Image Center. The program kicked off last May with a workshop that introduced students to the dynamics of cameras and photography. Vallejos and the other teachers act as guides, orienting and then describing scenes to students who then take the photos. He describes things in great detail, including the height, color and texture of things in the scene. Nosotros describimos la imagen que tenemos al frente y ellos ya lo están imaginando. Ellos si quieren toman la foto, si no, no, no. Es mucho el hecho de compartir y describir de bien lo que tenemos al frente para que ellos sepan qué es lo que están fotografiando. ¿no? The budding photographers take at least three photos per scene, following specific steps to take the photos. Sometimes the images come out blurry, but teachers say it's all part of the learning process. The cameras used in the project were donated by PT market distributors for Canon and former students of the Image Center. The 10 students will participate in an exhibition next February where they will show off their best photos.